singles contest scheduled for one fall. It's an opening round match in the tournament for the Kelly Singles Division Cup. Introducing first, the company to the ring by his manager, James Russell. One half of the Kelly World Tag Team Champions, Marcus So this is the first match, the first singles match in the singles division of the Galley Championship Cup Tournament. The Galley Cup is a new, a new concept. Well, maybe it's a concept that is renewed here. As this gives an opportunity to individuals who are not necessarily singles or tag team champions to get an opportunity to showcase their skills inside of the ring for the opportunity to call themselves a trophy winner them and move on to possibly bigger and better things. Imagine what a victory here would mean for one of these two men if they were successful in the Galley Cup Singles Championship Cup Tournament. I mean, you would get opportunities at wrestling in multiple parts of the country, Puerto Rico, Mexico as well. So a victory in the Singles Division Tournament or the Tag Team Division Tournament would obviously put one of these men on a pedestal higher than everybody else. Test the strength. And you can tell that the height and size advantage by Marcus Conrad in the early going had put Matt Nix on his on one knee. But Matt Nix showing some heart as he's trying to focus Marcus Conrad down to a knee as well. James Russo had a great galley mania two weeks ago in the same location in that match, in that event. The Conrads won the Galley World Tag Team Championships. Also, Barry Wright was successful in a fatal match. Oh, a beautiful takedown by Matt Nixon. himself off of the ropes with an arm drag as well. So James Russo thinks that with his new and improved syndicate that not only are they better technically wise, but they are also more successful in the ring. And that could be a difference maker. Because simply put, if you are able to obtain victories when they count the most at the biggest event of the year for Galley, which was Galley Mania, you have to think that uh, the momentum is on Russo's side. The Syndicate would love to get their hands on more championship gold and run out of here with both the singles and the tag team division cups with all three of his members participating. Marcus Conrad already one half of the Galley World Tag Team Champions. And then there's always the possibility that with one of them becoming a singles cup holder, that could lead to some uh, some bigger and better things for the syndicate, here and otherwise. Arm drag and uh, Matt Nix is uh, torturing this man's armpit, trying to pull his hairs out there. Marcus has the middle rope, forcing the rope break. In any sort of tournament, especially wrestling-wise, it's the one that is the survivor, the one that has the survival of the fittest, the one that's in the best shape that can endure the most punishment. It's not necessarily the biggest and the best that survive. Sometimes it could be an individual who is not necessarily in the top of the heap of the rankings that could win the whole thing. So each match in the tournament means something, but 
in a, in a, in a sense, it's a winner, it's a winner go home at situation because if this is single elimination, to my knowledge, then uh, one of these the two individuals will no longer have a chance. Matt Nix with a series of kicks puts Marcus Conrad in the corner as he retreats. Matt Nix in control. Marcus Conrad. The reversal on Matt Nix sends him into the corner. Look at the speed of Nix as he's able to roll out of that. Look at the that scissors takeover. Matt Nix looking pretty good so far. And Matt Nix thinking about taking it to the air now in this building. Side kick by Matt Nix. He would cut Marcus Conrad there. And the fans applauding Matt Nix's effort already. As Matt Nix has uh, had the upper hand for a majority of this match so far. Marcus Conrad on the merry-go-round and finally gets put back in the ring. Behind you! Five minutes gone by. Five minutes! Forearm by Nix in this first round singles match in the Galley Cup. Back fist, backhanded slap. Marcus Conrad stunned. Tilt the world backbreaker. And then one, one move when Matt Nix made more space between himself and Marcus Conrad. Conrad took advantage. Great strength here. Twisting, turning, power slams. Matt Nix is not moving. Well, he got the shoulder up at least. Match continues. Russo was under the firm belief that Mason, uh, that Marcus Conrad rather, had already advanced in this tournament. Nix definitely holding his lower back. He fell awkwardly on that. Anytime you're a performer, you have to try to find a way to fall to protect yourself. I think what Matt Nix has tried to do was to try to put as much weight as possible on his upper back, but unfortunately fell on his lower back during that power slam attempt, in which he wasn't even possibly allowed to control his body and, and twist him in the right place to try to finish him off. Nick struggles to his feet, battering Ram into the corner. And Nick's now, series of strikes, as Marcus Conrad on his heels. Well-placed boot by Marcus Conrad, puts Matt Nix down. And now elevates Matt Nix, head and chin first while digging that left kneecap right into the spine, the place where Matt Nix was dropped with that big power slam earlier in this match. Matt's still struggling here. Marcus Conrad backs up, caused the rope break, but James Russo on the floor snapped Matt Nix's head backwards. But Matt Nix recovers and starts firing back. Reversal by Marcus Conrad into the ropes. Falters over. What a springboard drop kick by Marcus Conrad from the second rope nearly to the outside. And Matt Nix fell badly on his back and the back of his head outside the ring. And now James Russo throwing fist upon fist and mounting the man on the floor. Russo is an evil man as Matt Nix is hanging on for dear life. Uh-oh, this could be catastrophic if Nix can't protect himself. Modified slingshot suplex, he deadlifted him off of those ropes. But Matt Nix will not give this one up. This is one match that Matt Nix feels as though he must win in order to get revenge on the syndicate. Side kick. And he got him with that knee lift at Conrad. 
Marcus Conrad attempts a clothesline. Maddox elevates with that shooting. Larry two. Back elbow. Matt Nix springboards back to his feet, but you can tell there's still a lot of damage that's been done to his back earlier in this match. Matt gets reversed into the corner once again, but he springs off the ropes. Back flips. Backward somersault off those ropes. My goodness, he dumped him right on his face. A release exploding German suplex like maneuver, but he flipped and inverted him at the same time. It's like a release flapjack. Matt Nix, bringing Marcus Conrad back to his feet again. Double underhook, trying to go for it all now. Oh man, Marcus Conrad counters, attacks the shoulder. Gut wrench power bomb on the way. Matt Nix with nowhere to go. Now he's got him in the crucifix. Wait a minute, he rolled him down. Almost got the victory right there. Tornado kick by Matt Nix. Marcus Conrad is not moving. 